bring up PuTTY, we're going to have to use a browser, such as Firefox, and we're going to type in My Apps. Now, in the lab, it usually comes up anyway, and it'll come to this login. And when we log in, it's going to authenticate you, and then you're going to search under Apps for PuTTY, P-U-T-T-Y. And when you do, you can just click here and launch it. Once you launch PuTTY, you'll find an icon like this somewhere on the screen. You can actually pin it to taskbar if you like, and when we click on it, you're going to see this requester coming up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use PuTTY to actually communicate between your PC and your Freedom K64 board. But before you do that, we have to make sure there's one other component. So if we go to File Explorer, make sure that you've got DAP link showing up here. If DAP link does not show up, what that means is it's not going to work. And you should, at this point, ask your instructor for help. Assuming it's there, the next thing you have to do is switch over from SSH to Serial and pick the COM port. Now, COM ports for various computers in the lab are different. So you're going to have to find the one specific for your computer. So we right mouse click, we go to Device Manager, and we go down here to where it's says ports, COM, and LPT, and open it up. Now in the lab, you're going to find COM1 and some other COM port. You never use COM1. It's always the other COM port. If COM1 is the only COM port here, then DAP link isn't there. So COM4 in my case will be where DAP link is, and that's what I have to do, and I've already changed this to COM4. Make sure this is at 9600. We're also going to go to Terminal. We're going to make sure that these three are unchecked. The only two that should be checked is Auto Wrap and Use Background Color Erase Screen. Once we do that, we also have to make sure we've got Force Local Echo on, and then we can say Open. And at that point, our PuTTY screen is open, which is a very similar screen to what you used in PRG 1 and 2 as your console application screen.